Hello everyone and welcome to Case of the X Tarot Reading for April 2018. This is for those of you that have a Leo as your ex. Um, we will explore the energies of how your ex Leo is feeling about you and the relationship that you guys shared. Um, whether they're open or not to a reconciliation or communication with you and how the energies will play out between the two of you in the month of April 2018. So as always, all decks I'm using in this reading are listed in the description below. And this here will be the overall energy your ex Leo feels about you and the relationship you shared. So it'll be a really high perspective and the rest of the reading um, will be pretty much defining this and breaking this down. So your ex Leo's overall energy is rising above. Um, Clarity, freedom, solution. So with this, this tells me your ex Leo is, you know, really seeking clarity in themselves, um, in the universe about, you know, the way things unfolded for you guys, why different things happened that they did, um, solution moving forward. But with freedom here, there's an element of, you know, your Leo ex needing to be in this space of freedom, wanting to be in this space of freedom so they can elevate their own energy and expand their perspective and consciousness about you, the relationship you had, everything that went down. Like This is all about soul growth right here and that's the energy the universe is offering your Leo X in the month of April 2018. So let's pull the cups card to see what the energy, emotional energy, the primary emotional energy your ex Leo has for you and the relationship you shared in April 28, in the month of April 2018. Okay, so this here means one of two things. Either your ex Leo in April is really moving on emotionally and just kind of letting this relationship go which would pair perfect with that or this is how your ex Leo views you so emotionally your ex Leo feels like you have let go and you have moved on okay so this is really cut and dry and this is just for April 2018 okay energies could change in May but for April your ex Leo either a is choosing to emotionally detach, let go, and move on, like that's their intention, or your ex Leo sees that um, and believes that you have emotionally attached, let go, and you are trying to move on. Okay, so apply that how it fits. Again, this is just the energy for April, so this is how your ex Leo is feeling in April. Now, let's take a look at your ex Leo's mental energy around you and the relationship that you guys shared. Okay, so we have the seven of orbs here. This is a couple different things, um, especially with this rising above in clarity. Your ex Leo could be of the mind that um, you really just played games and you screwed them over and like you were deceitful, dishonest, like that's uh, the seven of swords or they can be in their own mind like maybe that was their behavior it can go either way so mentally it's like leo feels like you and the relationship you shared like there was deceptive behavior there was betrayal either you did that to leo or leo did that to you okay so let's see what leo's spiritual energy is regarding you and the relationship that you guys shared. So we have the Ten of Flames here. Leo is really kind of in a place where, you know, they feel like it's over. Um, either because they're really deciding to just cut ties and heal themselves and move on because of what's happened. Or they view you as that, like you have let go, you aren't putting up with their crap anymore, and you're done, okay? It's cut and dry, either or, since this is general. They're done, or you're done. That's kind of the energy I'm seeing for April 
that's what we think is going on. And so let's pull some cards to really specifically um, label these through emotions, okay? So the first card out is how your ex Leo is feeling about you emotionally in the month of April 2018, how they're feeling about the relationship you shared specifically, and how they feel about a reconciliation with you or communication with you of some kind. So when it comes to you, they are feeling hopeless, pessimistic, despondent, defeated. And yeah, this just keeps playing that. Either Leo screwed you over and they think they don't have a chance again, or you screwed Leo over and they're like, you know what, I, that you're never going to change. It's just so cut and dry. How they feel about the relationship you shared. Comforted, reassured, consoled, nourished. So this was a relationship that really um, mattered to Leo, okay? It, it grounded them. They received a lot of, um, like, nurturing, healing energy from you. Or, you know, they feel as though they were your comforter. So somehow, some way, you and your ex Leo brought, you know, an element of soothing and ease to each other. Only you will know what that means. I'm actually kind of like, that's a weird card for that spot. But So how Leo feels about talking to you or a reconciliation from, with you is vulnerable, um, defenseless, unprotected, helpless. Yeah, this is so, it's like either Leo really screwed you over and they're like, yeah, even if they took me back, I could, I'd always have to sleep with one eye open because I'm afraid they'd slap me over the head with the frying pan in my sleep. Or it's that um, you hurt Leo so bad that they just don't know if they could ever trust you again. Or maybe you and Leo both really played some games with each other and now in April, you know, Leo's really rising above and, and tapping into their spirit about this. And they just, they don't want it anymore. Like, this is, I want a big change. I want to make things different. So let's pull some cards to see why Leo thinks um, the relationship had to end or why it's currently still apart at this time. Just heard a barking dog out there. That can be a synchronistic sign for some of you. All right. We have beauty and forbidden. No, no. Um, yeah, somebody screwed somebody over here because with forbidden there. Um, yeah, uh-uh, along with beauty, uh-uh. Either you really screwed Leo over or Leo really screwed you over. And there's like, or you guys did it equal to each other. There's like a lot of lies, definitely some cheating here, um, dishonesty. But you guys, what's crazy is like the connection between the two of you is real. The love between the two of you is real. But one of you just was really reckless and careless, or both of you were equally. So apply that how it fits. Let's uh, take a look and see um, what the most likely energy is, um, how it will play out for you and your ex Leo in the month of April 2018. And you know, also with this forbidden, there's this element where either like if Leo got back with you, like friends or family, there would be a disapproval 
or like on their side or like on your side, like if they got back with you, like your friends and family would really disapprove or something along those lines. All right, so we have free yourself and let your friends help. Yeah, um, the energy between you and your Leo ex is really not that of connectedness, okay? Um, this is just a general reading, but what I see here is I don't really see you and your Leo making any um, efforts to work things out in April. There's really no movement forward. If anything, we're working on self-healing because we have free yourself and let your friends help. So either Leo is going to be getting a lot of advice from their friends, which goes back to this card, or you are going to be getting a lot of advice from your friends, which kind of blocks you from Leo. It's just you and your Leo ex, regardless of the situation, it does not look like April is the best month and time for reconciliation or even trying to sort anything out with each other. It's more of a time of working on yourself and healing yourself. So let's, um, let's pull a card to see what has you holding on to Leo still. All right, so we have the emperor here. This to me is um, speaking more like the connection that you guys have um, has a great control over you. Okay, it's intense, it's strong, and um, it's just, it's fiery. This is the Aryan energy. The emotion the spiritual connection it's just it's a it has a very strong hold over you and it's been like such a part of your life for a while some of you years like it's just a strong hold on you and so i would recommend um you know doing some meditations even get in some reiki to help you uh dissipate that energy that strong hold over you like it's just wow. So let's pull you some advice on um, how to get through April in regards to your ex Leo. All right, so we had this offerings. This is saying rather than focusing on everything that went wrong um, with your Leo. Focus on the positive, not for your ex, but for your own self, for your own vibration, for your own energy. Look at all of it and try to just focus on what was good and what was beautiful about what you shared with Leo, okay? It will just make you, it will help your energy. This is the universe right here saying, listen, I will answer all questions that you've put out. I will reveal all things to you. So April is a really good time for you to be super open to signs and synchronicities that you, um, for all that you've been putting out there to the universe about your ex Leo, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities all through April. They will be telling you a story. The universe is answering your phone call. Okay. Smudging ceremony. This is saying that you really need to balance your energy, clear your energy. I'm not surprised because we see that emperor there. Um, I would sage your house. I would sage your own energy fill. I would highly recommend Reiki if you can um, afford to go get that. It's not expensive, but, you know, some people money is tight. I get that. Um, and read reviews before you go to anybody. I always say read reviews so that you know what you're getting. Because, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. If it's cheap, it's not that great. So this is saying you really need to work on your own energy field and cleaning it up. Also, you know, do some meditations. You can find a lot of them on YouTube. And it will help you out immensely. So those are the advice and a message that I received for you guys regarding your Leo X, at least for the month of April 2018. I hope that 
you know, you this reading has helped and brought you some guidance, and I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.